Hi, I'm Mark Cooper Smith. I'm John Danner. We want to welcome you to our program, The Resilient Entrepreneur. How can you build success and survive setbacks? We're excited to be doing this in partnership with the Northeast Indiana Innovation Center. John, are we talking about the NIC? We're talking about the NIC. All right. And we're, and we're delighted to be with them. We thought we might give you some introductions to ourselves. Mark, you want to start? Happy to. Um, so I'm Mark Cooper Smith. I've taught innovation and entrepreneurship at UC Berkeley for more than 20 years. And throughout that period of time, I've also been an executive and an entrepreneur many times over. In the programs that I've taught at Berkeley to students and grad students, and also to executives and entrepreneurs around the world, thousands of students have gone through these programs, launched businesses, learned how to be entrepreneurs, learned how to be better entrepreneurs. Some have succeeded, some have failed. I've also been an entrepreneur throughout this period of time. I've had some successes along the way. One of the companies I founded, an e-commerce payments platform in Silicon Valley is now owned by Google. Um, another one addresses global water scarcity. And I've had a couple of failures as well. And all of these contribute to a very hands-on approach that I take to this topic of how do we build great startups, high growth startups uh, and succeed. And when we fail, how do we manage to gain insights from that and use those in our businesses. John? We probably shouldn't go very much farther until we say, we also are the guys that wrote this book, we The did. Other F Word, How Smart Leaders, Teams, and Entrepreneurs Put Failure to Work. So from my own point of view, I also teach at the UC, at the University of California, Berkeley Business School, and also at Princeton every year, courses on entrepreneurship, innovation, and the like. I've been an entrepreneur, with the same success failure record that most entrepreneurs have if they do this more than once. Um, I have an opportunity to, to advise startups across the, across the country and around the world, trying to both in some cases get rich, in other cases change the world and oftentimes something in between. Most importantly for this particular program, I happen to be a Hoosier. I grew up in Evansville. I know Vanderburg County. I know Posey County. I lived in New Harmony, I lived in Cynthiana, Indiana, and my mom and dad lived in Bloomington for a number of years. So I identify with you folks uh, in my old home state. <clears throat> let us tell you a little bit about so this John, program. Let me, let, yeah, let me break in just a second on that too, if, if I would. So we're, we're beaming to you, we're recording this in the San Francisco Bay Area in Silicon Valley, and a lot of the principles around launching startups are really tested out here but we've also built businesses outside of Silicon Valley, across the US, around the world. And our ability to try and translate some of these concepts in a way that hopefully they're most accessible, whatever your business is, is a challenge that we're looking forward to. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that, Mark. My first entrepreneurial experience in Evansville was actually selling all occasion cards door to door. Uh, and then in college, I sold cookware door to door all over Southern Indiana and, and Southern Illinois. So I know, I know the territory and Mark and I both know what it's like to struggle with a, with a business, to not know whether or not you're going to meet payroll, to not know whether or not you're going to be able to make it another week, another two weeks, another month. Uh, Mark, you, you got yeah. some story about that, don't you? Oh, I do have a few stories as far as not knowing if we're going to make payroll and, and kind of closing a deal on New Year's Eve. And the other, the guy on the other side of the table wanted to go out for a drink to celebrate. And I wanted to get to the bank before the bank closed so we could make payroll. So we've definitely dealt with all of those kinds of challenges. And the other thing too, is we understand the responsibility that you as, as an entrepreneur has to yourself, to your family, and also to all of the other people that you work with. And it's a big burden and it's not one that we take lightly. So part of what we try and do is say, look, there will be failures along the way. And I think John's gonna share a little bit more about our take on this, but don't let those failures necessarily be the failure that takes your business down, but rather find opportunities to learn from them. And again, as John shared, we've written a book about that. So let's tell you a little bit about this program. Uh, the program is actually gonna be a series of short practical videos. Some may be as short as five minutes, some others maybe 10 or 15 minutes. 
they're going to be available for you to watch in whatever order works for you at whatever time works for you. Some of the videos will be covering specific topics that we discuss and explore through our research for our book, but others will be hands-on exercises that will walk you through, which we encourage you to try on your own and to the extent that you have a team that you're working with, you also may want to involve them as well. These will be intended to be practical, but also at the same time, we want them to be kind of thought provoking because you're the final judge here. We understand that every entrepreneur wants one thing above all, and that is to, be, to stay in business, to grow. Sometimes that's not always gonna play out the way you'd like or the way you'd hope. We're gonna try to help you figure out how to improve your odds for the kind of success you hope for, by using one resource in particular that can test your resilience, but also give you insight that can improve your likelihood of success. Whoa, whoa John, the, wait a minute. Wait a yeah, minute. Yeah, what? What? No, none of, wait, none of us like to fail, John. I know where you're oh, going. Oh, it's a drag. Right? None of us like to fail. None of us like setbacks, right? We, we, so how do we deal with those? What are some thoughts? A couple of very simple ones. We are all experts at creating failure, right? We do it in so many ways, in so many imaginative ways. But the question is, can we turn what we all produce from something that it always is, which is a regret, into something that is capable of being a strategic resource, a, a resource, an actual resource that can help us make better decisions, improve the likelihood that we can build the very business that we have in mind. Sometimes that takes humility. Sometimes it takes a sense of humor. But above all, it just takes the recognition that we're all fallible. We're human beings. We make mistakes. Things happen that we don't want to happen. How can we turn that to our advantage? Well, and, and as entrepreneurs, one of the things that each of you, each of us does is try new things. We have to, to grow our business, to launch new products, to enter new markets, to change our business models, all of those elements, to bring on new people. And we know that every time we try something, we're almost running a little experiment because we don't exactly know how it's going to come out. So as you run these experiments, as you grow your business, as you launch your business, as you change direction, as you pull the Silicon Valley famous pivot, right? Starting one way, going to another. You're going to be running these experiments and sometimes they work the way you want and sometimes they don't. And the great thing about it is when they don't work the way you want, you still have new information. Thomas Edison, credited for being the primary inventor, not the only inventor of the light bulb, is famous for having said, I now know 10,000 ways a light bulb won't work. And we know he eventually got it right. So we're looking forward to joining you in this journey. Um, we'll get to know one another a little bit better uh, as we go forward. We'll share some stories with you. But most importantly, we want to share some ideas and suggestions that can help you work in your particular business, whether it's a side hustle, whether you have a small shop that you've just launched, whether you're thinking about potentially becoming an entrepreneur. Because, listen, as a former Hoosier myself, I want nothing more than for you folks to be one of the primary engines for driving economic prosperity and opportunity across the great state of Indiana. We look forward to our time together. Mark? We do. Well, and one last thought that I wanted to add to this as John was, was sharing, and that is we recognize that each of you was probably at a slightly different place in your journey. Uh, so some of these exercises, some of the content may be more relevant in the order that we've presented it for some of you than others. So as John invited you to do earlier, feel free to move around, to take a look at the entire set of content and exercises we have and these are not intended to be theoretical um, exercises. We want you to apply your conditions, your situation against the frameworks and the activities that we're laying out. And with that, John, shall we get started? Yeah, why don't you cue the music? I'm That's cueing it for the music. this session. We look forward to meeting you the next time around. So long. Mm -hmm.